22. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind, the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Coral Blade Grotto broadcast, another reaction video. As you know, this is a video of opinion. And today's subject matter comes from an email I received with a link to the page that you're looking at right here. The individual who sent it to me just sent me the link and said, what do you think? Well, let's find out. So we see in cursive written quantum grammar coach. So this site purports to teach quantum grammar, I guess, to coach quantum grammar. I don't see any quantum grammar on this page that was sent to me so far. So let's take a look at the page first. One of the things I look for right off the bat is who is the authority of the page? Like when you go onto my website, you see my photo, you see my credentialing, you see my correct punctuated name, you know who is taking authority and accountability over that website, over that web page. Here, I don't see anything like that. I see adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, plain English, babble. Rules of correct sentence structure. The rules of correct sentence structure are a closely guarded secret. Not true, ladies and gentlemen. There are over 400 videos on my YouTube channel. No secret. I have over 5,000 subscribers. You type in correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, and my video and website are going to come up in that Google search. It's not a secret. Which is why people get into deep water with the courts and legal systems. Um, again, not true. If you know what it is you're doing and you have closure on correct sentence structure, you will not. Uh, well, I mean, you might get into deep water, but you'll be able to swim. The best source for rules of correct sentence structure is David Wynn Miller's website and videos. I disagree with the assertion that the website is the best source because it's not. There are mistakes on every page, just like in David's book. And it's unclear because he doesn't even follow his own rules for whatever reason on those uh, sources. Now, the videos, on the other hand, he does do in several videos, the correct positional sequencing. And I do have videos of that repostings on my website, on my YouTube channel, which has over 400 videos pertaining to correct sentence structure. So we have, okay, they're talking about by keeping people in ignorance, governments and courts can fleece the people, keeping you in bondage with debts, bank loans, blah, 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 all by your own volition. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Uh, okay, secret to the rules. Freedom and rules of correct sentence structure. So let's see. Looking through any large dictionary, you will see that every letter of the alphabet is a noun. So every word in the dictionary is a no-no. 
N-O means no. U-N means no. So they're going into about offer and acceptance, but we're not talking about correct sentence structure here. Uh, parts of speech in a sentence. The first one is the adverb. Are they talking about the syntax key? Yes, I believe they are talking about the syntax key. One is adverb, two is verb, three is adjective, four is pronoun, etc., etc. No contract words. Adjective is a modifier. That is correct. It's a tangible contract modifier. A pronoun is an object, a place, or a person. Well, pronoun can be anything, ladies and gentlemen. It can be tangible or non-tangible contract. For example, if you have a, uh, a sentence, two-word sentence that says something like uh, shirt the, period, shirt the, shirt would be a tangible contract adjective, and the would be a non-tangible contract pronoun. So a pronoun can basically be anything. Uh, okay, prepositions, prepositional phrases. Position, it's actually positional. Positional. Uh, articles would be known as lodials, as they have here. Facts, of course. Now time sentence structure. Okay, they're explaining that in the conjunction. Conjunction is the last least part of speech has a value of zero because it gives a choice. Actually, only one of the conjunctions gives a choice. Or is a choice and is a command. Uh, for the bridge is over the river. For the river is under the bridge. This is not correct here. Because if you were to write this word, this backwards, for the bridge is over the river, the way to write it backwards would be under the river is by the bridge, which makes absolutely <laughs> no sense. Uh, with, of, with, of, with, by. Okay, this is a basically a correct diagram right here. That is correct. For the positions in the now time tense with the O, O, O. See, they don't follow this, though. Do you see what they did there? Ladies and gentlemen, you need two points with which to draw a straight line. The first point in correct sentence structure briefly would be the cause position of for the facts. And then the next position would be of the facts. For the facts, of the facts, then you establish your straight line. Then you put your verb of the thinking in. This establishes the geometric level playing field of communication. This establishes the start of the mathematical interface, which is correct. This is correct. But then when they put it into use down here, they violate it, not only by using the positional in, but by putting three positional lodial fact phrases in front of the verb so whoever wrote this the quantum grammar coach quite obviously even though they have the information in front of them perhaps don't quite comprehend or have closure on how it is that it works um buying a copy of his book ooh do they sell the book on this page oh my goodness so it links back to this. And you see video unavailable. This ties back into the colon mark hyphen lowercase k colon Christopher uh, reaction video that I did and also podcast that I did where his Mark Sean Christopher's YouTube channel was deleted. But this website has been modified by him. My guess is by him. So when you send your 
donation here, your $200 donation, it goes to uh, David's estate, which he definitely has a hand in. So just be aware of that. Okay, so let's let's go to the home page real quick here. So we've established a lack of knowledge here on this quantum grammar coach's part. Not only with the sequencing of positionals, but choice of positionals. To clarify what I'm saying, let's go back here. Even though these things are in quotations, uh, probably to safeguard because perhaps they know that they don't know what they're doing exactly. We have for the positions in the now time tense with the same plane are with the correct positions both ways by an authority. So how would you say that backwards? There's really no way to say it backwards because they've broken the mathematical interface by putting three position lodial fact phrases in front of the verb. Now, in, what is congruent with in? We have four positionals, four correct positionals, four of, with, by. Four is congruent with by, of is congruent with with. What is congruent with in? Out. So that would completely modify the meaning of the fact. Now time, now hyphen time hyphen tense, which is a very interesting fact because now is non-tangible. Also, correct positions both ways. When you write a correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, document, contract, postal, vessel, court, venue, you must provide closure for all your facts. In other words, you have to give definitions, i.e. finite means for your facts. How would you do that for this word? Because you would have to have a meaning for ways, both positions and correct. Not only that, you would also have to have a finite mean for correct type and positions, hyphen both hyphen ways. And then they say backwards, it's for the authority. But here it says for and an authority. So they violated their own rules right there. There's an and, and here's a the. That's changed now. That's modified. It's modified the lodial position of the fact. The becomes, or and becomes the. And then we have of the correct positions both ways. Okay. Are. Now, the verb is in the correct position here, but you see it's incorrect verb because R is plural and authority is singular. With the same plane. Now, with has not changed at all. With is with forwards and backwards, so that again violates the mathematical interface. In the now time tense becomes in the now time tense. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, as you can see, I've just shown that this individual, uh, as far as their performance goes, shows a, a critical lack of correct sentence structure knowledge right here. But who is it? Who authored that? We don't know. We don't know. So, let's go to the home page and we see some uh, things advertised here. Uh, Bill Peck. Who is Bill Peck? No idea. Bill Peck's tips for learning while thumb suckers are waiting for the chief to clear up the mess. That's pretty funny. Bill Peck has the answer. What is the answer? Is Bill Peck the author of this? Let's read the comments and see if we can find any clues here.
Jaywin Miller does make mistakes, possibly deliberate to stop people trying to cheat. Okay. So here's the thing about that. What teacher in their right mind would purposely teach someone the wrong thing with the possibility of this student through nascience getting into severe trouble by the false teaching. So if David Wynn Miller was teaching things and misleading people deliberately, getting people into trouble who don't know any better, who trusted him, that doesn't make sense to me as a teacher. Again, to deliberately do that. All right, so I found no authority for this website. Bill Peck, I looked up the punctuated name Bill Peck here. You can see, and there's a football player, a guitarist. Uh, I don't know. An actor. Let's try to look up Bill Peck with quantum grammar attached to the name. And it just leads me back to that website. Is this the same guy? Leads me to a YouTube Welcome channel. Welcome to this month's edition of Pulp Nonfiction, the paper and packaging podcast. I'm Greg Johnson with Sustana Fiber. And as always, I'm happy to be joined by my co-host, Dr. Marta Pazos. So Marta, it looks like we'll be going to science class today. I don't think that's him, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that's him. In any case, that's my reaction to this website. What do I think of it? You know, I applaud anyone who tries to start their own thing and to help other people. I just caution, you know, people to be very careful, you know, about who they allow to teach them. I myself, if I want to learn something, I want to learn from someone who has some sort of authority and authority comes from knowledge and one step in be having an authority would be to credential yourself show people who you are don't hide use a correct name correct photo credentialing and also be able to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you know what it is you're teaching and as i just showed here this individual has some severe holes in their correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge. But however, there is a light at the end of the tunnel if this quantum grammar coach chooses to see it. Quantum grammar coach or Bill Peck, if you want to learn correct sentence structure, if you want to close up those holes in your correct sentence structure knowledge, you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, this email address down here, and apply for a correct grammar workshop. If you don't feel like doing that, you can go to my YouTube channel and study the over 400 videos where I give complete and correct closure on all three of the parts of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. You can also become a member on the website. Just go to the main page, click join, or go under any video and click join. There are two tiers. The first tier, or for those who do appreciate the work and thousands of hours I've already invested in the channel with over 400 videos and just want to say thank you by contributing some value. The second tier is a little bit more involved. It's uh, contributing of more value because you, you the viewer, become a participant in the channel with the direction of the channel and the videos that I make. And are also privy to exclusive content that the public doesn't get to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.